My name is Matthias Murgis. I am the chef proprietor of Yusho Restaurant in Chicago. Yusho means serving great wine to friends at a banquet. It was born out of exciting street food in Asia, like Singapore, Japan, and China. The idea of gathering around a table is ancient. Chef Chris, he's a true leader. He's firm, but helps you and helps the cooks realize their full potential. We're taking the sea urchin with crispy burdock, and we're wrapping into this little package and frying it. And then on the top, we're going to put Buddha hand. Buddha hand, there's no juice, it's complete pith. And it's shaped like this, and the entire core is completely white. But it maintains its integrity so well, so we like to use that because you can, you can acquire different textures that you can't with a lemon. Skewered chicken skin is synonymous with yakitori and Japanese cuisine. So we came up with the skin tasting. So we're doing poulard skin, which is almost like a potato chip. And then we have uh, pork skin, which has togarashi and nori, almost like a rice, a puffed rice. We do a great monkfish that puffs up, almost like popcorn -y. We're doing cod skin. We're doing onion skin. So there's a, there's a variety of skins that we're going to be showing off tonight. We're actually going to serve it on Japanese newspaper. Japanese are like, they're known for the best beef. Meadowood is a very special place, and uh, we can only use Kagoshima, which is like one of the highest grades of of beef. And the method of cooking that we're using is, uh, it's an ancient method from Japan, it's what they call a triple sear. And when they used to go on long journeys, they used to always carry salt with them and, and you know, sake. They would pack the meat with, with salt and then have it like right on the coals and they would start that searing process and they would wash it off in sake. It brings such a dimension to the beef without rendering too much fat out of it. So it would be almost like a yakitori sense. And then we have uh, sweetbreads, and we're going to do a uh, barbecue sauce with that. And then we're doing like a little gravel of uh, toasted brioche and nori and dehydrated oxtail as well. So it's a little like the cow on the plate kind of situation. What we do with this dish is we take honey and we make our own kind of honey candy or honey brittle where you heat honey up to a certain degree, you add baking soda to it, and it will triple or quadruple in volume. And the garnish for texture was uh, dehydrated bees. There's so, so many beautiful rosemary flowers out right now. We want to bring that kind of like that uh, herbaceous note back into the, the dish. You very rarely do have the opportunity to do something like this. Here's an interesting, thoughtful preparation that stimulates conversation, that helps bring people together. And that's what we hope that we're able to provide tonight. This whole team is so uh, grateful again to have the, to have the honor of cooking with you, so thank awesome. you.